Well, firstly, any backbencher can get a meeting with me, and unless you have a stakeholder, it's not recorded. So lots of backbenchers come to me 10 or 20 times a year, especially when Parliament's sitting, that's normal. Uh, one of those meetings was part of a regional visit, one was with five or six other MPs. So if you look at things in context, um, if, you know, a lot of backbencher meetings, scores of them happen. Uh, some would have 10 or 15 of them, but they're never recorded because if you don't bring someone a stakeholder with you and for country members in particular uh, they tend to bring councils or other stakeholders well no some MPs would have had up to 10 depending on what they wanted to come and see me about so I just want to say this I've always made myself available to all of my uh, backbenchers and that continues great question no the great question and you can you can speak to the chair at the time, Lucy Turnbull, and the CEO, Jeff Roberts. They actually came to the head of my department and wanted that change. The, the Greater Sydney Commission actually came to the head of my department. They actually came to me and said, we want this change. We don't want to be part of planning. We should be part of uh, the central government. It was actually the recommendation of the Greater Sydney Commission. And you can actually ask Lucy Turnbull because she's been very open about that. But she, she is, at the end of the day, it's the Greater Sydney Commission who has a whole of government approach. They're an independent body and it's their advice we take. They provided advice to the secretary, to the head of my department, because the Greater Sydney Commission now has a whole of government role and they wanted to be in the same category as Infrastructure New South Wales and other central agencies that run whole of government. And can I assure you that that recommendation came from the Greater Sydney Commission itself.